So welcome back to the uh, moped chariot build. As you can see, I have dropped the ball. I have now gone to two races and not used this thing once because it's not done. So here's the deal. So I've taken this thing for a test ride, which basically meant that I stood like this and held on and rode and used the strings to try and turn. But unfortunately that was a keyword because I tried to turn. It would not actually turn. When this is one piece, you know, it tends to push. So what I'm going to do is right behind me, I've got this like come along kind of thing. I'm going to mount it here and I'm going to have two rods that go up on the frame. So it kind of holds this up. Then this will have a piece coming here to here. And this half will be like, you know, it'll be two pieces. So that should allow it to turn. And then we can work on the more, um, important things like handles. I realized that I have to have two, not one bar. So I have one handle that I have as a string and then another handle as a string. So that's what I'm gonna start working on. I'm gonna cut this thing in half and attach that in a good way. So I'm gonna get right to it. <laughs> Okay, so here you go. You can kind of see what's going on now. So I've added in a lot of little pieces. These two bars, these two bars, the come along, it's tab, and then this big plate here. So both these and these are for uh, making this kind of more structurally sound so it doesn't like jiggle around a lot when it's riding. And then I've added in these two pieces here, which are designed to keep this in place and to allow it to try and like lean on that a little bit so it doesn't try and tip. So what's coming up next is I'm gonna cut out these two bars on each side and then this area here, maybe round this off a little bit. That way I can actually get some steering out of this thing to allow it to pivot left to right. So after that, I'm taking the handlebars apart. So I'm gonna get the brake, the throttle, all the switches and stuff like that off of there. I'm gonna drop some eye hooks in here and then I'm gonna attach the cables to the eye hooks and run them all the way back to the back so I can steer this thing. Okay, so bonus update. Uh, birds, still a thing. Mama is up there and she's probably staring at the camera very angrily. The babies were chirping really, really loud the whole time I was doing this. They're kind of having their little fun up there. <laughs> So uh, uh, update, that fell over. I did not put the kickstand up. Did not even think about it. It's kind of been freestanding now for months. So I kind of assumed that it would stay that way. On the other hand, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. It allows the two to kind of do whatever they want to do. Got to find some training wheels though. That is major. But this is a big improvement. <laughs> Okay, so I got the eye hooks all in. So maybe you can kind of start figuring out what's going on. And here I got a bag of goodies. I got the uh, safety cable that is gonna save my life here. Got lots of cable furls. 
And then, see if I can find what I'm looking for. Yes, I can. This thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loop this around there. I'm gonna open it up, then put the cable on it, crimp the cable down, and then I can run the cable back there. And I'm gonna do it on both sides, and I think it's gonna work really well. Here's your baby bird update number two. Okay, so this is how we're gonna control the moped chariot. This is just a brake handle of a bike. I've got two, and these are just normal cables off bikes and all that. So this is what we're gonna use for our brakes and our gas. So right here is a piece of steel that matches with these brake handles. Um, it'll be cut below my pinky, and then in this area between these two fingers, there's gonna be an eye hook that I attach to the cables on the chariot. That'll allow me to, you know, to pull for right or left, depending on which direction you know I'm turning. And then I'm gonna run the cables off here, one to the brake, one to the gas. And then this right here, this is a turtle. He's gonna be used as the horn because this thing will be street legal and we need a horn. Give it a good squeak. Oh yeah, this thing ain't going nowhere. <laughs> All right, so here we have Jeremy, our head executive chief display model, sitting on the uh, chariot. As you can see, now we have full controls. He's got throttle and brake. You can hit the brake, you can see that right there. And then hit the gas. So now this thing is kind of ready to go if it ran. That's kind of next step, I lost the key for it, so I'm probably gonna have to pick the lock or get a new one. And uh, just generally make it work. I don't think it charges currently. Okay, it's a very critical moment. We're gonna finally try and start this thing. It's been about a year, and a year ago it did not start very well. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a little bit of brake clean. I found a key for it, so that's good. Right there is at work. I got zip ties holding the battery in, and uh, gas in the tank. It turns out, if you wanna steal gas out of a moped, just turn the cap hard enough and it comes out. So uh, I think it's time to give this thing a shot. So I found a willing participant. Jeremy is gonna be on the uh, the bike end of it. I will stand back here. 
Uh, let it be known that there is nothing holding these wheels on. This one has a burr that's keeping the wheel and bearing from going over. So that's what's keeping it on there. If we get in trouble, I'll just give them two and we'll be good. Uh, so <laughs> we finally get to try it. Jeremy is just for balance. When we normally ride this thing, you should not need that. But I do not have training wheels because I have not tried enough. So anyway, on to it. <laughs> what else can you ride that is that unsettling? Uh, I don't <laughs> 20 miles know. an hour, mind you. That was fucking sketchy. Okay. Successful test drive. What I learned. When you have someone such as he sitting on the bike, you can't control a human being on a, like, balancing object from a trailer that you don't have to balance. It's just not happening. But when we made him steer and I ride on the back, it was great. Scary, because you're at the end of the day on the back of a trailer on a motorcycle, but it's awesome. I have no regrets. Next comes training wheels so I can drive it solo and make it run right because it didn't run right. But after that, it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm.